Today, I am extremely pleased to report that a grand jury has returned multiple indictments on four individuals for their involvement in a string of armed robberies reported at restaurants in the Uptown area last year. On August 20th, three masked subjects entered restaurant patois on Laurel Street and robbed multiple customers inside at gunpoint. On September 25th, two masked suspects entered a Chafalaya restaurant on Louisiana Avenue and robbed multiple customers inside at gunpoint. And on September 28th, three masked suspects entered the Monkey Hill Bar on Magazine Street and robbed multiple customers inside at gunpoint. After presenting the facts and findings to a grand jury, the following four suspects were indicted. 18-year-old Wesley Davis, AKA Wes, AKA Seabrook. 19-year-old Jacorum Van Norum, Van Norman, excuse me, AKA Jock. 19-year-old Dwayne Stevenson, AKA Wayne. And 20-year-old Nicholas Spiller, AKA Nick. All four of these individuals were indicted on one count of conspiracy to commit armed robbery between August 16th and September 28th, 2015, and one count of armed robbery at Monkey Hill Bar located on Magazine Street. Davis and Stevenson were indicted on one count of armed robbery of Merlin Raleigh. Davis, Norman, and Stevenson were indicted on one count of armed robbery at Patois Restaurant on Laurel Street, and Davis, Stevenson and Spiller were indicted on one count of armed robbery at a Chafalaya restaurant on Louisiana Avenue. Three of these suspects are currently in custody. Stevenson is still at large. Today's indictments are a direct result of a coordinated and comprehensive investigation by NOPD detectives, members of the FBI, New Orleans Violent Crime Task Force, the ATF, and the District Attorney's Office. From the very first incident, we made a commitment to use every available resource we had to track down these suspects responsible for these crimes and to bring them to justice. Given the initial evidence available, this was an extremely difficult case to tackle, but we put together an extremely smart team to do it right and to get it done. Our officers work upwards of 12 to 16 hours per day to gather intelligence, review surveillance video, interview witnesses, follow tips and leads, and put together a strong case against these suspects. I specifically want to recognize Deputy Chief Paul Noel, who was the commander of the 2nd District at the time this happened, 6th District Commander Ronnie Stevens, 2nd District Detectives Jerry Baldwin and Andy Rockerford, 6th District Detective John Waterman, Lieutenant Nick Garner, Lieutenant Jennifer Dupree, members of the ATF and FBI Violent Crime Task Force, and a sixth Assistant District Attorney, Alex Kalender. Together, this team never gave up, and there is more to come. We believe there are others involved, and that there are more crimes that we might be able to connect them to. We will continue to strongly pursue this investigation, and we will not stop until everyone responsible is off the street. I just spoke with all of the owners of the individual restaurants involved in these incidents. They express their gratitude for our hard work and I want to thank them for their support and their extreme patience in working with us to get these crimes solved. Our mayor is out of town at the moment, but he asked me to pass along this message that today's announcement is about us delivering on a commitment to bring these suspects to justice. I hope these individuals and their associates, associates hear me loud and clear. We will not back down and you cannot get away from your actions. If you choose to engage in crime, the entire New Orleans Police Department and all of our law enforcement partners will come after you each and every day, each and every time. And if you commit crime, if you make these decisions that this is what you want to do, you will face serious consequences for your actions. This is just one example of the lengths we will go and how relentless we will pursue you if you choose to commit crime in this city. And this will only get better. We're working hard to put more officers in every neighborhood uh, in the city to prevent crime and to arrest individuals who committed. Just last week, I announced a plan to add 94 more experienced officers to the street to answer citizens' call for service. This surge in neighborhood patrols will begin following the carnival season. And in the meantime, we have a strong security plan in place for Mardi Gras to make sure a carnival is safe and every neighborhood in the city is safe during Mardi Gras. 
And as we grow, everyone will see more police. So I want to thank this team for doing all the hard work they did for the many long hours they put in. Members of the FBI ATF Violent Crime Task Force, the DA's office, for all the long hours and hard work that they contributed to this investigation. Um, the message is clear. We told you we would catch you, and now we caught you. And so the message is also clear. If this is the life you choose, prison will be the price you pay.